Hurricane Ian hit Florida and the Carolinas hard this week. Claflin students were not impacted by the storm and only experienced rain showers. Florida was one of the first states impacted by Ian and sustained heavy damages. The Claflin University volleyball team won its first home game against Columbia College. Their next home game will be against Savannah State. Masks will be required for entrance into the game. The Art Design League at Claflin University is looking for new members. The organization is known for providing support for art students. They are looking for passionate new members from all majors. Claflin orientation leaders will help the freshman class with mentoring incoming freshmen this year. Mrs. President Reed and Dr. Green trust and expect orientation leaders to lead well. Our school is again in the top 10 HBCUs nationwide, tied with North Carolina A&T in ninth place. It's another victory for our university and students and alumni are proud. Even though coronavirus cases have declined, Claflin University is still requiring faculty, staff, and students to wear masks indoors. Social distancing is recommended to be used on campus. Claflin students are invited to come to another campus meltdown this upcoming week on campus. The theme for this meltdown is, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. We hope to see you there. Claflin students received disaster response and health disparities training through the Center for Diseases Control this past week. The training, which was sponsored by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, was aimed at preparing students to volunteer and assist communities of color during various emergencies. This has been your Panther TV News. I'm Arteria Gibson. Have a great day, Claflin.